Okay, now I'm recording. Hello everyone. We are now or back at the camp. I managed to um hopefully get rid of that um graphics glitch where the textures aren't loading. I really hope so. And we now have the Thunder Windstone. I think it was called. And now it's time to um, move back. Now. And I really hope that um, I'm going the right way. Because I don't really know anymore. But it's probably because um, I took my time to play. Uh, I don't know that you're gonna attack. I'm a little bit high. Well, I guess it's uh, not really surprising. Because, um, mm, I drove my bike and it was, and it took really long because I basically drove through the, enti through the entire city. Um, Let me think about it. Um, I was at the, um, the garden of my mom, and it's basically on the north eastern side, more like the eastern side of um, Nuremberg. And I now live in the south. West. Ah, could be more uh, in the south direction than actually west. But um, yeah, I basically need to drive around 15 kilometers with just um, my bike. I mean, it wasn't that hard to be honest, but it took a while. I really enjoyed it though. Maybe I uh, should do it more often, but um, as you probably guessed, uh, it took a really long time. Let's, uh, to travel with the ship so are you the one? yep he is always talking to the red guy this is the thunder Winston, right? this is what you need to the Dupont. Wow, it's huge! I never seen a Thunderwind song this big! 
a rock dead side should last us 100 years or more. I'll go install it right away. Ah, dann könnt ihr wirklich weit fahren. I've got to say, I didn't think they'd actually go find one for us. I'm impressed. Okay, we've got our Thunder Windstorm. It's time to get this adventure on the way. Captain, have we placed the Thunder Windstorm ready whenever you are? Alright then. Alrighty then. Get cracking mateys. Wait, Anger. Aye, aye, Captain. Ah, right. She is kind of the captain of that crew. Kenjiro. That one with the really big smile. And he's never gonna stop smiling. Panic Eyes, Dokumonia. Let's say I pretty need to uh, okay. Who knew there was a path left this on the volcanic eyes? The treasure must be for the inside, right? And I actually don't know anymore how I did the uh, why is this do you think the Pyrolyph is inside, Master? Ah, do you think the Pyrolyph is inside, Master? I've never been here before. What makes you think I will now? But there are footprints. It looks like someone's been here. That's right. Didn't Dobbin say that there were he heading south to look for the sacred stones? These footprints could be theirs. Look at this, see? There's a treasure here after all. Oh. Hmm? It's just a big old stone. What the hell is this? It's just a lousy glass ball. Oh, my. Follow the narrow path. It leads to the... Um, you can read this. It looks like the letters we, uh, we used in my village, but I can't read all of it. What does it mean? What are we supposed to do now? It's a good thing I take along. And you know. <laughs> Who the hell is this? Huh? Kenjiro, what are you doing here? Um, I overheard you had a pirate hideout, so I snuck on board. You snuck on board? My ship? Well, well. We can't have that now, can we? Uh oh. Just calm down, Cap Captain. I done anything rush. There's only one way to deal with is so stowaways. And it's not pretty. Sharon. Hilda? I can't help you if I'm dead. I've seen them before. The letters. These letters in the magic circle. I know them. If you kill me, you'll have no idea what it says. Is that so? You better be telling the truth for you, sir. Well, speak up. What does it say? Let's see. Huh. I don't know. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Erstmal ein Kick in die Fresse geht. <laughs> First a kick in the face. Oops. Uh, I mean that I know the island they came from. An island? Uh huh. Called it Jinga. It's of as of there are giant ruins there. Really? I didn't think there were any inhabited islands in the southeast. You'd better not be lying. 
I'd be careful with my words if I were you. Got it? Yes, yes, Adam. I swear on my mother's grave that I am telling the truth. I've done business with people there. These letters are exactly the same as the ones they use. What do you want to do, Maxim? If there's something on that island that will help us make progress here, we should go check it out. Kenji, you said that the Jinga is south or southeast of Tanza, right? <laughs> Maxim, does that mean you believe me? You're a smart man, alright, a smart man. Just what did you want? What did you mean by that? You're surprised that he believed you, huh? If I find out you're lying, well... I, I'm not, I'm telling the truth, honest. Well, I don't believe you, but Noxon seems to. You're the only one that knows the way. Back to the ship with you. There you go, Poncho. You got a problem with that? I'd be happy to loop off your head right now, well... I don't have a problem, ma'am. And there he is running. Of ruins. He could be lying, but should we try to find it anyway? Yeah, we have to try. I mean, we don't have much of an option, right? Maybe not even Gaia can do a thing here. So let's head back. It is good. Oh, you can't just uh, travel there. Okay. Hill of Giants, Jinga. At least they have stones here. Hmm. Safe point, huh? And let's save just in case. successful Ooh. is that a dragon well I guess no. it's more a wife on but yeah I kind of like dragon creature Oh, there is somebody. I guess we should talk to him. It's pretty far off, to be honest. Great spirits walk towards the sun, the bright sun set high in the sky, yet its rays were gentle. Mm. Uh, I'm kinda wrong, I guess. Oh, there are people here. If they're from the outside. Oh, they're not tall. Oh. Well, let's rob them. Heal bottle. But they won't talk to us. I mean, yeah, maybe they wonder if we're from the outside. Or something like that. So, and what do we have here? The plants are uh, big here. Is it it's here? 
heat helps. Believe. Well, I guess they don't want us to be here. Ah, it's actually not surprising. I mean, if they are living by themselves, pretty far away from everything. I guess they just want to have their peace. Look at the guy to tomorrow. He, he's huge. <laughs> I mean, it's called um, the Hills of the Giant. Uh, giants. So I guess there were, uh, there are pretty big. Wait. <laughs> Leave those plates. He turns. He really is big, huh? Silent eagle. Those people are different, they are nature speakers. Nature speakers. He's smaller. It's as the spirit predicted, the time has come. You are the nature speakers. I believe they call you my six now. You should have an old voice. What do you mean, predicted? Spirits, we told me that you would come to these islands. Come with me, nature speakers. Chief Westwind, what of the... Chief Westwind, what of the tribal law? Does not our law forbid contact with those from the outside? Do not lean that concern, you know, silent eel. Come, there's much to tell and little time. Oh, scheinbar sollen wir einfach nur rein. Und der ist einfach mal doppelt so groß wie wir. And he's double so big as we. And four times. How do I say it? Not hate. Um. Old? No. I mean, he is big. You came seeking answers, did you not? Something that only I would be able to answer, correct? Yes. We are trying to get uh, further into volcanic isles, but we are stuck. There is this place with letters scraped into the ground and some kind of jewel in the center. You speak of the air crest. You must sit on it. <laughs> the air crest is at all an entrance to a narrow passage, one through which only the cable may pass. How did you know about the cable? I have watched the world for many, many years now. Their legends have not passed yet from this island. The cable where are people that sought to control the world through magic. <laughs> control the world through magic? Are you of the cable line? Never mind, I must be mistaken. <laughs> I mean she can use me magic. Cable believed they were chosen. They even called themselves the chosen ones. And what they craved was power. With each new power they acquired, they lost a bit of their humanity. By the time they controlled nature, even life and death itself, they believed themselves all powerful. But the cable were destroyed. Oh. The 
the cable were destroyed by humans. Their arrogance proved to be their downfall. The cable were overconfident in their powers. They started to believe that they were not human, but gods. At least that was their claim. The rest of humanity feared their control. They wanted to save the world and it compel compelled them to action. Their ability to survive, enjoyed by all humanity, had been weakened in the cable due to their dependence on magic. So when the wars began, the cable were indeed powerful, but were lacking something. Humanity prevailed in the end. When the fighting was over, the world was little more than a wasteland. It was ages before the world returned to normal. Our one tribal law is as old as that legend. We can have nothing to do with the outside world. This is our law. From our perspective, the outside world is full of heathens. Getting involved would make us impure as well. These tables were created by our ancestors so that we could communicate, communicate with the spirits. But I am the only one left that is able to communicate now. Nature speakers. The spirit told me that you would come here and why. If the legends of my ancestors are true, you are searching for the altar of fire on the volcanic isles. However, you will never reach it. Only you can go through the air first. Hmm. It's a little bit problematic, isn't it? What's this? This is the blue sky shot. With this, the air press should lead you to the altar of fire. I cried the blue sky shot. There's one more thing. I would like you to take Silent Eagle with you. Chief Grassman, but why? The end is quickly approaching. We can no longer sit by idle and watch the time to act has come. Our tribe lives on this world too. We are part of this world, Silent Eagle. You, the most noble and strongest of our warriors, are the only one fit to complete this task. Nature speakers, what say you? Oh, we say welcome him. We'd be happy to have him. Are you willing to fight with us? I cannot. I will follow the orders of Chief Westwood, but I will not follow you. You must help each other. Silent Eagle, you are terribly exempt from the law until your task is complete. But... Listen to me, Silent Eagle. The law applies only to the living. If the rod is destroyed, there will be no living and the love will be useless. Uh, he's a really big um, muscle guy, so... Um, silent. I do not wish for you to all call me by that name. You may call me... Hmm. I really want to um, name him... Stro or... Marco. Because I find it funny to resemble him. But now we uh, leave him by Ain. Why don't I just call you Ain? Okay. Fine. Major speakers. We have many valuable items that can only be found here. Some may prove useful in your journey. However, we have no use for money from the outside. If you have something of equal value, you may be able to trade. Ain has joined the party. Excellent. So, we got our, as far as I know, last member. Ain is a little bit high level though. Mm. But he already has a few things equipped. But yeah, we will see um, how um, he will play. But not now. He should have. No, no. Peasant has a higher strength status. 
But yeah, we should um, see it in the next part because I'm a little bit over the time. So what will happen next and how we will trade, it will be um, part of the next part. So have a nice day guys and see you soon. Bye bye.